Having a baby is one of the most wonderful experiences, but for those who battle morning sickness, it can take the joy out of being pregnant. Here with ways to prevent and treat the nausea is Dr. Dean Coonrod from Maricopa Medical Center Labor and Delivery Department. It's so good to see you. Good to see you. We've been talking, it's bringing back memories, but what, what does cause morning sickness? Well, what we know is it's probably one of the hormones that causes the positive pregnancy test, that's okay. HCG. Sure. It tends to go up in the first trimester, and that's usually when the symptoms are bad. And then it tends to go down about the fourth month of pregnancy, and it gets better. Yes. But we think at this point it's the HCG that causes it. So it's really not something you can avoid, correct? No, unfortunately, probably <laughs> up to about 90% of women yeah. experience some. We all know, of course, that Kate Middleton had right, that right. and uh, had the particularly severe form of, of that. There's good news in the misery, though. <laughs> uh, we know that miscarriages actually probably happen about a third less often in women who have morning sickness. Ah. So maybe that's something to hold on to to get through the, that misery. It's a good sign, then, if you yes, got the morning yes, sickness. Is, but yeah. you did bring up uh, Kate Middleton, and I was wondering, at what point, if you have morning sickness or you have nausea, what, at what point do you go, oh, I better maybe get help? Well, some of the things that I would recommend is if you have vomiting and nausea the whole day the whole and you're day. just throwing it up so that you get signs or symptoms of dehydration that might be not urinating enough, it might be uh, feeling dizzy. Certainly, too, if there's other symptoms that go along with that, that might include um, uh, bleeding, cramping, any of those other things, or fevers, because it may not be morning sickness at that point in time. Uh, so those would be reasons to call your doctor or vis visit an emergency room. Yeah, don't try to play it tough and think, oh, I'll be all right, really go in, especially right. when you're pregnant, because right. that hurts you and the baby, I'm assuming. Right. I, I laughed earlier when I saw what you brought on the table. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what I ate for the first three <laughs> months. But these are things that can help, obviously. Because right. you, when, you're, when, when you have that morning sickness, you don't really want to eat, and right. nothing tastes quite right. right. So these are some good right. suggestions? Yeah, so, well, first a couple suggestions. One is avoid triggers. Okay. So this, and you're gonna learn yourself. You probably remember the stuff that you Milk. ate. That, yep. Yes, so, dairy, yes, yeah, not And good. certain spicy foods, those would be the kind of things. The other thing I say is to eat small, frequent meals. Okay. And the, the trick is not to eat five meals a day, but to take three meals and split it up five or six times. You don't wanna overeat either. Then some of the tricks that I give, one is the saltine crackers, mm -hmm. and what I tell my patients is put it on the nightstand, don't get up in the morning, eat the, the, the saltine first thing, and don't get up out of bed for a little while. That can help with morning sickness oh. symptoms. It works a little bit. Sometimes it, it's not a magic bullet by any means. Okay. We also know that protein containing snacks are probably a good idea. The other one actually that works somewhat is, is your, C, your acupressure bands that actually uses principles of acupuncture. You put it on your wrists and sometimes it works for certain women. Okay. You gotta take fluids. So what we say is cold, clear, and carbonated. So ginger ale is a great uh, example of something to take. And talking about ginger over at the very end there is candy ginger. And actually there's good data that says that works. The other thing can be a ginger lollipop. Okay. And finally, there's good news on the horizon. In June, there's going to be a new medicine that's called Diclegis that's been approved by the FDA. The truth of the matter is that we've been using the medicines in it for years. Uh, one, of them's a, one of the contents is vitamin B6, and the other is an antihistamine called dicyclamine. And what they've done is they've combined it to make it easy to take. And that's uh, okay then? Yep, those are, those are safe to use in pregnancy. And that's, I guess, you know, if you really just can't deal with it, you got to go to work, you can't get through it, right. this would be another right. alternative right. for you. And certainly you'd want to talk to your doctor, make sure you're not having issues. And the other one that we always worry about is weight loss. So if you're starting to lose weight, you want to be careful of that too. <laughs> and then for all the moms out there, any suggestions to make those nine months fly by, doctor? <laughs> well, since you mention it, our labor and delivery unit, Maricopa, is actually participating in Facebook. Okay. And we've got a Facebook page called MaricopaMommy.org. You can like the page, and uh, they have a lot of content, some videos, oh, okay. and uh, certainly anybody out there who has a recipe that worked, maybe you had one back in your pregnancy that worked for uh, nausea and vomiting. I remember, yeah. Pass um, it along? Yeah, pass it along our, on our website. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Some really good tips. You did bring back a lot of memories 12, 15 <laughs> years ago. And if you want more information about Maricopa Medical Center Labor and Delivery Department, please visit their website. There it is right there on your screen, or you can always call the number that you see as well.